In this video, we're going to take our flashlight here. We're going to go ahead and set up, finish setting up our uh, blueprint anyway, so it's positioned correctly, such as this guy. And then we're going to go through and attach it to our mannequin, so that way it's actually held in our hand. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and open up our flashlight blueprint and change out the mesh to be our flashlight. So now, obviously, this has a different kind of direction, so we want to bring up our spotlight component to match our flashlight. I'm going to set the snapping to 1. And that is way too fast. Move you on over. Try to get it fairly centered. I think that is anyways to me. Rotate it around. Ah, bump the rotation down a bit. There we go. And kind of get it kind of coned in there. Just to where it's visible. Okay, something like that. So now let's drag it out. Enter the orientation to you. And there's our flashlight. So I'd say that's pretty accurate on there. So we have our flashlight set up and good to go. Now we can go ahead and spawn it and attach it to our mannequin. And we're going to go to our flashlight character.h. We want to hold a pointer to this flashlight so that way we can access it whenever we need to. So in the protected section, I'm just going to go ahead and do a, uh, let's see, we don't, yeah, I'll, I'll make this blueprint, uh, well, no. So what we're going to do is just have a forward declaration of a held flashlight. Let's call it flashlight. Or flashlight in hand. Now we can go over to our .cpp. We're going to go ahead and include flashlight, public held flashlight.h. And in our begin play, do we even have one? Which we do not have. We're going to go ahead and actually create that real quick. So we're going to do virtual void begin play. We're going to override it. Create the implementation. And I want to move this up just below our Set up player input component. So flashlight in hand is going to equal get world on actor. The actor type is going to be a old flashlight. And then we need a class to spawn. So for now, I'm just going to do if flashlight in hand attach here. So we need a class that we can spawn here. So what we're going to do is kind of the same thing. But we're going to forward declare this twice, so I'm going to go ahead and move that forward declaration up here. Like so. And now we're going to do a U property. Edit defaults only. And we're going to do T subclass of A held flashlight. And it's going to be called flashlight class. So that's going to be linked up so where we can spawn flashlight class like this. And we want to make sure it's valid first. So if flashlight class, then we do everything else that we need. So if we spawn the flashlight because the flashlight class is valid and it's valid that we spawn what we spawned, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach it. So flashlight in hand attach to component, then we want the component we attach to, which is our mesh, so get mesh. Then we should have the F attachment, or attach transform rules. We're going to go ahead and snap to target, not including scale. And then the name of the socket we want to attach it to. So that's going to be F name. And we want to look and see what that that point's going to be. So if you remember when we attached it to our mesh, let's look at our uh, armature here. See the flashlight is set as a preview. It is attached to our hand underscore R. So we want to attach it to that as our socket. So hand underscore R, like so, and it should be attached to our hand. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is only done on the server. So if as authority, then we run it like so. So we're only going to spawn the flashlight and attach it if we are on the server. So I'm going to go ahead and do a save all and compile. Alrighty, relaunching Unreal Engine. Let's go ahead and open up our mannequin blueprint right here. Should see here's our flashlight class. We're going to select our blueprint, yeah, blueprint flashlight. So now when we spawn, I have it. Why can I not move? Unless the flashlight's making it so I can't move. I want to do a test here. I want to go ahead and comment out that line and do a build real quick. Actually, I guess I could have just changed it in there. I have no input. So my guess is I might have accidentally removed something that I need to be able to move with. So I will be right back and try to fix that. Actually, while I was looking at this, I noticed the animation and all that kind of stuff isn't even playing. So my assumption is, I'm going to go ahead and set that back, that I forgot to call super. Yep, so super, again play. Go ahead and do a compile again and just see if that ends up being the cause. Because that's something kind of necessary. necessary. There we go. Now I can move. Okay, so let's uncomment out the attaching. Build it again. Hopefully a uh, high reload doesn't break itself. And there's our flashlight. So, as you can see, there's a slight problem. I have an issue moving. And same thing goes when I go to turn and stuff like that. And that's due to the collision of the flashlight. So we don't necessarily want any collision with it. So in the blueprint editor, we're just going to select our flashlight mesh. Go down to collision. And set it to no collision by default. And there we go. We now have our flashlight set up, and as you can see, it's pointing and shining just like so. So we will need an animation, so that way it doesn't, you know, suck as bad. But it should be replicated, so I'm playing as a listen server. So let's check the clients, make sure client gets one too. Which he does not, but the server does. And the reason for that is because our flashlight is not replicated. So we want to go ahead and select our flashlight and check replicates. So this will make it so it is actually replicated. So now when it spawns, our client spawns theirs as well. So now, now we have everything we need. And the only thing that we also were going to have to do is... Well, this will be in the future video. We're going to have to make flashlight in hand. We're going to have to replicate this to the owner. And we're going to have to set the owner. So what we're going to do is when we go to spawn it, we want to pass in some parameters that we're going to pass to the spawn actor function that are going to make the character the owner of the flashlight, in which case that'll also allow it to be replicated to the owner of the character, so the person holding the flashlight, so that way we will have a valid pointer to the flashlight itself. So that's something we're going to have to work on in the next, uh, I don't know if we'll do that in the next video, if we'll work on just a quick animation. Yeah, we'll probably do all that first, and then we'll do the animation, so we will work on the replication next. So that's going to be it for this one, and if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description where I have a dedicated series just to my Patreons where we create Team Deathmatch from the ground up using C++ and Unreal Engine, along with a bunch of other miscellaneous features. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord down below, and I or someone else will try to help you out the best we can. I'll see you in the next video.